Hello, welcome to our May episode of Bustler Bus, everyone. This month, we have a lot to share, including a shout out from two presenters of an upcoming program. So stay with us. Bustler Bus begins now. Welcome back everyone, we're your hosts Jeff Swope and Emily Gonzalez. Today we want to start off by mentioning our Mindfulness Practicing the Art of Living program. It takes place every Tuesday from May 7th all the way through May 21st at 1.45 p.m. This is a great way to re-engage with your goals and also to just invite good things into your life. We also want to highlight one of our popular ongoing programs, the Writer's Word Shop, led by Melinda Schultz. This month, it will take place on Saturday, May 11th and Saturday, May 25th from 10 a.m. to noon. It's a great program for writers and aspiring writers. If you're interested in writing, check it out. A little encouragement is always a good thing. Now, let's move on to one of our special pieces for today. I know you worked with our youth services department on this one. I really did. So it's about our summer learning challenge, and I don't want to spoil it by giving away the details before you actually see the piece. Well, then let's check it out after this brief announcement from the presenters of one of our upcoming programs. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Janelle Crossley. I'm going to be doing a workshop on gender identity and expression at Bossler Library at 1 p.m. on June the 1st. We'd like to have you here to learn about gender identity and expression, inclusive language within the LGBT community, and also to have a discussion on questions and answers on gender identity issues. Thank you, hope to see you there. Summer is just around the corner, and our youth services department is excited for this year's edition of our Summer Learning Challenge. Continuous learning is important at every stage, which is why we also have the teen and adult edition of the Summer Learning Challenge. However, we acknowledge that continued learning during the summertime is the most effective way to help children stay sharp in their studies, retain what they've learned throughout the school year, and feel ready for school in the fall. We've asked our Assistant Director for Information and Youth Services to tell us a little bit more about what can be expected this summer at Boston Memorial Library. Hi everybody, I'm Melissa Kellinger. I'm the Assistant Director for Information and Youth Services here at Boston Library. And today I just wanted to tell you about something that's coming up this summer, our Summer Learning Challenge. We actually have a Summer Learning Challenge for kids, teens, and adults. Our kids program is for birth through age 12. Our teen program is for ages 13 to 17, and our adult program is for all those moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, and every other adult 18 and over. We have lots of cool programs going on for everybody this summer. Um, everything from Ryan Bridge, who is known as the Bug Man, who will be here for our kickoff for our Summer Learning Challenge on Friday evening, June 7th. Um, all the way up through some special music programs with a gentleman named Silly Joe. Um, we have a princess tea party, lots of special things happening this summer. Some theater performances for kids and families, as well as our regular preschool programming and school age programming. We invite you to join us, and moms and dads, don't forget, you can set a very good example for your child to complete the summer reading program by signing up yourselves for the Summer Learning Challenge. Here at the library, we make learning a fun experience, providing quality reading and programming opportunities all for free. So parents, have your kids join in our programs and let them enjoy a summer filled with educational fun. Hop, 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 dragon, hop, 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 dragon, stop. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that piece with us, Emily. Of course, Jeff. It was so much fun spending time around the youth services department. I am telling you, 
our kids are filled with energy. <laughs> <laughs> I just loved it. But I know you have also something to share with us, an interview, I might say. Yep, I do, and I don't want to give away too many details either, but I did have an opportunity to interview Gary Ingraham, one of our staff here at Bosler, about a very special grant that he just got. Amazing. So it's coming right up after this brief commercial. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Adam Sheffs, the Victorian historian, and I invite all of you to Bosler Memorial Library, May 29th at 7 p.m. for the Victorian Historian presentation, a unique insight into the obscure history of America's 19th and early 20th century. Who was responsible for Abraham Lincoln growing his trademark beard? Why did women voluntarily consume poison as a beauty aid? What's the real reason why people didn't smile in early photos? And I guarantee it's not for reasons you've heard. Just how many songs in the White Starline songbook were all White Starline musicians required to memorize, including those aboard Titanic? And how did an early alarm clock work using physical pain to wake the sleeper? The answers to these questions and so much more will be revealed during the Victorian Historian presentation May 29th at 7 p.m. at Bozeman Memorial Library. I hope to see you there. Recently, the Bosler Memorial Library was awarded a Library's Lead with Technology grant. Gary Ingraham, Information Systems Specialist for the Library, was the force behind the application, and I sat down with Gary to discuss the project. So this grant is part of the Library's Lead with Digital Skills initiative, and it allows Bosler to receive support from the Public Library Association and the American Library Association who are partnering with uh, Grow With Google to support local businesses and job seekers with digital skills. The initiative is designed to help libraries assist job seekers and empower small businesses by providing key digital resources and guidance on maximizing those resources. Bosler will be offering classes aimed at presenting the initiative's online educational resources to patrons and other members of the community and our first set of classes will focus on resources for small business. I'm really excited to see the tools that the Grow with Google offers. Um, these training videos are fantastic. The first class, scheduled for May 29th, will teach students how to access Grow with Google's Applied Digital Skills site. This site is designed to help learners develop digital skills through a free video-based curriculum. Applied Digital Skills includes videos on small business topics such as building an online business, preparing a business plan, managing a project with digital tools, and planning effective meetings. The second class, scheduled for June 5th, will introduce Google's Primer app and its Get Your Business Online with Google site. The Primer app is designed to be a fast and easy way to learn business and marketing skills. It delivers small, jargon-free lessons that are designed for business owners and professionals who want to see relevant topics, strategies, and tutorials. And it provides these tutorials that last about five minutes that a professional can look at when they have a little bit of extra time. The Get Your Business Online site provides online lessons to businesses to start and grow their online presence. Business owners can learn how to create a website, get their business listed on Google, and how to get found on Google Search and Google Maps. The PLA and the ALA asked for one word to explain how we felt about this and I told them intrigued um, because this is a huge opportunity to open up another resource for the public. In the future, Bosler's Technology Academy classes will pull in more of these training ideas so that we can expand our small business offerings and also focus on trainings for job seekers as well. I'm Jeff Swope, reporting for Bosler Buzz. That was interesting to watch, Jeff. What a great opportunity. It sure is. We're just about to wrap up this episode of Bosler Buzz, but first we want to remind everyone that our collection and services booklets just came out. So if you'd like to know more about the services we offer and the information we can help you find, be sure to grab one of these. And they were conveniently created as a flip book. So you get both in one. How clever are we? <laughs> Very. I will always say so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>